How's it going, everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today. As always, hope y'all having a beautiful day wherever you might be. So, if I sound a little bit different, I am using a new microphone for the first time ever. Well, at least recording with it for the first time ever, and I hope it sounds good. So, today we are going to be playing Legends with the lowest strength in Brawlhalla. And there's actually only two legends in Brawlhalla that have three strength. Do you know which legends they are? They are Linfei. Where's Linfei? Right? And uh, we're going to go ahead and bump her down to two strength because we're going to do absolute lowest strength legends. Challenge accepted. So two strength, Linfei. The other legend with only three strength by default is Lucian. So we're gonna do Lucian, which is which skin? I kind of like Raven Rogue. Let's do Ra Raven Rogue. And also Dexterity Stance because it takes away from strength. Two strength Lucian. Lucian. Now there's actually quite a few legends that have four strength by default. Uh, we have Lord Vrax, Hattori, Azuri, Val, Yumiko, Nyx, Volkov, and Reno. So all of those legends are the next lowest strength legends. We'll just go down the list in that order. Let's go to Lord Vrax, shall we? I'm going to try to play with every single one of these legends, but uh, the main focus is to just play the game and have fun. All right, low strength. So I bumped... Lord Brax down to three strength. And uh, so now we have a total of two, four, seven strength across all three of our legends. <laughs> oh, man. All three of our legends combined doesn't even have as much strength as Zul does by default. Three, two, Hope you all having a beautiful day. If you enjoy this kind of challenge video, go ahead and let me know in the comments or just go ahead and like the video. You don't have to comment. All right, this is good training for me because I've been wanting to improve with cannon anyway, so this is good practice. Linfei is a fun legend. I just wish I was better at cannon. Her sigs are actually fun. Boom! Like her neutral sig, the down sig, if you can hit it, is is just crazy. The dragon bite. Ooh, that cannon ground pound. I swear, like <laughs> watch out for Frosty. <laughs> Frosty the cannon was gonna bop him right on the head. Alright, we got Hotori. Look at the Qatar Sig on Linfei though. You have to respect the Qatar Sigs. The neutral Sig, the side Sig, and the down Sig are, oh my, look at that. Just completely destroyed her neutral Sig with my down Sig. Ooh, that, that one hurt. Is she gonna, oh, yeah, she got us. All right, on to the next. Lowest possible strength legend in Brahalla, we have Lucian. Now, just because they're low strength doesn't mean they're bad. It just means they have higher stats in other areas. Typically, you do want to have decent uh, amount of strength because it makes it easier to hit people off the map, which is, let's face it, the main uh, point of this game is to just hit people off the map. Oh no, oh no, oh no. If I, oh my gosh, that, oh, we got her. That uh, spear downlight is just, it catches everything. All right. Ooh. Spicy throw by Bryn. How am I not hitting with that? Okay. Ooh, got her, that neutral sig. Hold my guitars, please, Bryn. You might have a lot of strength, Bryn, but do you got style? Okay, you have style. Aurora, Bryn, you can't deny, has a lot of style. Oh, oh my gosh! I was thinking maybe she's gonna do a neutral sample. I didn't think she actually would. 
That was crazy. All right, Lord Brax now. Oh, that neutral sig punishes spot dodge so hard. Lord Brax, you gotta watch out for his sigs. They are really unique. And there isn't really a legend that's like Lord Brax. Okay, there we go. A lot of people don't realize how good Lord Brax is. Like the blasters and the lance is just a really cool combo. Plus his signatures are just beautiful. All right, uh, that was fun. That was a good opener. We got kind of warmed up a little bit, but moving on, I think I'm actually better with these legends coming up. So the next legend we're gonna do is Hattori, a uh, legend we just fought, but we're gonna use low strength. So we're gonna use Dexterity Stance, put her at three strength, and then we're gonna go Demon Bride Hattori on the skin. And then next we have Azuri. Azuri is a very good legend. Sometimes I get three stocks with Azuri. Sometimes I get destroyed. It really depends who I'm going against. Then we have Val. And Val is a, another legend I've been wanting to make a video on. So this is got to be good practice. Let's see. Somebody, re somebody recommended that I make a video on Val showing the three different Val crossover skins. Like... And I would love to do that, like, on a strikeout team. Unfortunately, you cannot because you have to have three different legends on the strikeout team. <laughs> All right, we're going to go Dexterity Stance on Val. So this is our team for the lowest legends round two. All right, here we go. Going against Yeet Salsa. He's got Petra, Lindfei, and the Enchantress, which is Fate crossover. Let's give him a nice opening taunt for good luck. All right. Nothing like some good old morning brawlhalla to wake you up. Boom! How what? How will I not hit on my neutral sig sometimes? I will never know. Oh, I thought he was going to do another neutral sig. Nope. I like how he's mixing up the different signatures. Most people just tend to use like one signature all the time. Not this guy. Hold this bomb. Hold it. Nope. Ooh, got him with the side sig charge. Let's go. Not like a super clean sock, but we still got the the still got the sock. Oh, look at that. Whoa, my screen flashed. Why? I think I need to reinstall my graphics drivers or something. I don't know. Like, ever since I installed Windows 11, I've been getting that glitch where my screen just goes black every now and then. Never happened before. If anybody's smart about computers, like, let me know why that's happening. I updated my drivers. I even reinstalled my driver, my video drivers. Like, I have the latest drivers. I don't know what why, why it's doing it. What? All right, we are just bopping with Atori. I mean, are we even gonna play the other legends? It's it's starting to be questionable. I don't think we will. I think we're gonna three stock. Okay. Well. GG. Uh, I, I always enjoy getting three stock, let's be real, but uh, I do want to show all the legends that are low strength, so we're going to go back to Azuri then, and then we'll go Val, and then we'll we'll just keep going down the list. Um, next is Yumiko, but we're going to give her the lowest amount of strength possible, which actually boosts her defense, which works out. Uh, let's change up the colors this time. Let's do Charge Doji. Why not? All right, going against, against J. <laughs> We're going against, against J. <laughs> That's, I don't know. That's just funny to say. All right, he's got a Wushong. I didn't even look at his other legends, so we'll find out when we get there. Against J. What a strange name. Then again, my name is pretty strange too, so who am I to judge? Uh-oh. Is kind of playing like aggressive, but at the same time, not really. He won't go off stage. Like, bro, if you have gauntlets, go off stage. Gauntlets are an incredible off stage weapon. 
Like, don't be scared. You might as well. And if you're, like, not very good at offstage, like, punishing and stuff, how do you think you're going to get better if you never try? You have to, you have to practice. Yeah, you might mess up and kill yourself a bunch of times, but that's just all part of the fun and games to tell you. Oh, no! He took out Azuri! It's all part of the fun and games till you get better. All right, I was messing around way too long and literally got destroyed there, so... We're gonna have to uh, make up for it with Val here. All right, he dodged in really hard there. Boom. Bye-bye. Instantly redeemed ourselves with Val. Okay, worth, worth, worth. I also got a pair of new wireless headphones for Christmas, the Razer and Aria Ultimate. And wow, I've never had wireless headphones before on a computer anyway. And uh, it's pretty cool. These ones have like built-in vibration. So like when I'm listening to a song with a lot of bass, it's, <laughs> it's like my whole head is vibrating. Oh no, Val. This is Val versus Val. I just realized. Cannot sit on the wall, Val. You should know that. You are Val after all. Are we not both the same character? Whoop. Whoop. Okay. How dare you switch weapons? Now. No! My monitor is doing it again! It seems to happen more often when I'm recording. Like, oh my goodness. All right. She is out of here. Last person we have to go through on his team is Cross. We still have Yumiko after this. And if we, okay. All right. Wow, one punch is all it takes. One punch from Cross. All right, Yumiko's a fun legend. I don't, I don't want to do bad on Yumiko, but like, I'm not like practiced up for her, but sometimes I can do pretty good with Yumiko. I really thought he would like go into those, but I guess I just miscalculated. No, oh my gosh, I saw death there for a second. Oh man, he's gonna chase with that ground pound, hoping I would jump into it, but I have a hammer. All I gotta do is recovery. Hammer's kind of broken like that. All right, cool. Well, we got to go through all three. All right, so we're going to do at least one more game here. So we have Nyx. This is probably the best team right here. We have Nyx. I'm going to use the new skin on Nyx. Why not? White out Nyx. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to go low strength. We're going low strength challenge. All right, deck stance. Nyx. Volkov. All right. So these are, these are both Scythe Legends, but they're both very low strength. And then we have Reno. Reno only has four strength. Uh, we're gonna go Fairy Moth, but we're gonna go Skyforge colors. I do love these colors. And check out these blasters I'm using from the Soulbound Diana, and I'm using the Remnant of Fate from Enchantress. Look at that. It actually looks better in Goldforge. Unfortunately, I don't have Goldforge Reno or Goldforge Nyx. I would love both, but they're expensive on the glory. Y'all know how it is. By the way, I didn't say this at the beginning of the video. I probably should have, but Merry Christmas yesterday to everybody who celebrates. And if you celebrate nothing, that's fine too. But if you do celebrate Christmas, let me know in the comments if you got something really cool for Christmas you would like to share. All right, here we go. My Christmas gift, like I said, was basically my new microphone and my new headset. So very happy with what I got. I meant to do gravity cancel, didn't like happen. Oh no! No, Boonin! Goodbye.
he is playing very I don't want to say overconfident but like go get a weapon bro you're getting destroyed Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why did I dodge through? That wasn't smart, but he took that punch right in the face! I actually love that he was using level 1 Octavia Smart X because that's what, like one of my favorite ones. Alright, you know what? I would like to play the other legends. I don't want to kill myself though. He's got to earn it. Oh, what? The interrupt? Oh my goodness. I got him with the roundhouse kick on the backswing right in his face. Alright, GG. We literally three stock with Nick, so... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start the game off with Volkov and then Reno and then uh, Let's bring it all the way back to Lin Fei. We're going around the world now This time esports version 1 colors by the way I usually always drop codes to unlock items in Brawlhalla after every video if you're new to my channel So definitely stick around to the end of the premiere because right after the premiere is when I drop the codes in the comments The codes can only be redeemed by one person, but I make the last number or letter a star so you have to guess what it is it makes it a little more fair for anybody to get the code you have to be guessing which letter or character all right here we go next match and probably the final match hopefully i get to play all the legends here Three, definitely the first two all right godzilla man 34 whoa he's coming in hot all right that's fine he wants to come in hot. We'll come in hot too. We're coming really, really hot. All right, Wushong, now that you're almost dead, now that you punched me on opening taunt, let's fight. Oh, bye bye. Volkov, I could probably three stock, uh, no offense. He's just really a good legend. You don't even need strength with Volkov. You just have to know how to like use a scythe and axe. And honestly, the axe is <laughs> not a hard weapon to be good with. No offense if you're an axe player. Like, axe is just the best weapon, I think, overall. It, it will be until they like drastically nerf it or something. I just don't see that happening at all, so. Okay, he got a little bit lucky that that hit me, but. Oh my goodness. I'm hoping he kills my Volkov, but honestly, if I try hard, he won't. I don't even have to try hard. Oh, almost got him. Wouldn't it be funny if I hit a down sig and killed them by sending them up instead of down? Like if he's above me and I hit the down sig. Like that. Ah, got it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I was able to do that. That's funny. And he even recognized. Oh yeah. Hey bro. Like you could kill me anytime. You just have to do it. I'm not going to give it to you for free. See what I mean about axe just being stupidly strong. Like he doesn't even want to fight me because he knows that the axe is just going to look at that. My goodness. All right, guys. I, I just cannot end the video without playing Reno. So we're going to play one more game with Reno. Back to Linfei. Back to Lucian. All the way around the world. We are going to play Reno. I am sorry I've been three sucking too much this video. My goodness. I thought, I thought it would be more of a challenge, to be honest. Picking all these legends with the least amount of strength possible. Preferably, like, I actually like legends with a lot of strength. I think most people do. Look how popular Taros is. I mean, I know partly just because of his weapons and broken signatures, but also he has a lot of strength. You know, and I don't know. How many times do you see people playing Lin Fei? How many times do you see po people playing uh, Lucian? Honestly, for me, almost never. 
almost never like very very rarely in fact Vinfei and Lucian are two two of the least viewed like legends I see when I play now that being said you saw that I won with both of them so like it don't even matter bro oh my bad I, I know if you're like you're still taunting or like are we gonna fight oh look at that sig This guy cannot even touch us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boom! Oh my goodness. Get that dunk out of here. We literally rejected that so hard. I knew he was going to try to do that. And we have the literal perfect counter with the down sig on orb. All right, good little blaster string, but you have to do that quite a few times if you want to win. Oh, you're not gonna jump above me? Again. Almost got him on that again. Hey, look at this. Two low strength legends just chilling, fighting each other. I literally said you never see a Lucian, and then we're fighting Lucian. I don't know why I'm like using the SIGs. Not like I need them. It's just like they're fun to hit. They're more fun to hit than light attacks all day. Like, I don't know. Some people, a very small amount of people say that I use too many SIGs. I don't really care. I use six because they're fun. For me, it's not always about just winning, you know? Like, I, I play to have fun. If I win, great. Sometimes it actually does cost me, though, because people who are really good at punishing six, they will punish me. But I don't think that's this guy. Look at the range on that neutral. And the side six. GG, dude, GG. Another three stock. There you go. So Reno, he, he deserved that three stock, right? Well, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know if you enjoyed. Go ahead and drop a like if you did. And be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be putting out more Brawlhalla content as always. Take it easy, friends. Hope to see you in the next one. This is Lucian Sword.